When I first started buying and minting NFTs on Polygon, I was so confused about the entire process. I thought that I needed to buy Polygon in order to make the purchase and I made a ton of mistakes. So I'll explain it all in this video so that you don't waste money like I did. If you're watching this video, you're probably having an issue or you're not sure how to go about purchasing an NFT on OpenSea on the Polygon network. It gets very confusing. So why do we even need to go through all of this hassle? The main reason is because of the crazy gas prices on Ethereum. On Polygon, the gas prices are dirt cheap. Right now, the gas price on Ethereum can range from $50 to over $100 per transaction. So if you want to buy a $20 NFT on Ethereum, it could cost you $120. But on Polygon, each transaction will only cost you a fraction of a cent. Because of this, buying an NFT on the Polygon network on OpenSea is gas free. Now, Polygon is actually built on top of Ethereum. Now, think of Ethereum like a gasoline combustion engine in a vehicle, and Polygon's like the new cool electric powered vehicles. Ethereum is older, not great for the environment, and slower, while Polygon is better, cheaper, faster. If you want to purchase an NFT on the Polygon chain on OpenSea, I'm going to walk you through that entire process in this video. The first thing that we need to do is set up a MetaMask wallet. Now, there are a lot of other wallets that you could use too, but I prefer MetaMask. It's very popular, and so that's what we're going to use in this video. Just go to metamask.io and install the browser extension for whatever browser you're using. You'll need to go through the signup process, which is very easy, and you're going to get a 12 word phrase that you'll need to save and keep safe. This is the only way to recover your wallet if you ever forget your password. So write it down somewhere and keep it safe. All right now we need to set up the Polygon chain in our MetaMask wallet. A lot of tutorials will have you copy and paste server names and addresses to manually add this, but you could end up being one digit off and run into problems. So the easiest way is to go to chainless.org, connect your wallet, search for Polygon, and then add the Polygon mainnet to MetaMask. MetaMask will pop up to confirm and you just need to approve. Then you'll see the Polygon mainnet in your list of networks in MetaMask. Once you have your wallet set up, you'll need to either purchase some ETH or Matic. And this is where I got confused. I thought that since I'm going to be purchasing an NFT on the Polygon chain, that I would need to purchase Polygon Matic tokens to make the purchase. So I went to Coinbase, bought some Matic, and that was my first mistake. Coinbase only sells Polygon Matic on the Ethereum network, not Polygon. I know, it's super confusing. You see, there's the Ethereum chain, which has ETH as its main currency. Then there's the Polygon chain, which has Polygon Matic as a currency. And Polygon used to be called Matic, so the name of the token had to stay the same, which makes everything even more confusing. So we have these two different networks, but ETH can exist on either network and Matic can exist on either network. And here's the kicker. OpenSea only accepts ETH. So we need to either purchase some ETH on the Ethereum network and then bridge it over to the Polygon network. And at this point, the ETH is called wrapped ETH or WEETH. By going through this process, we will have to pay those high Ethereum gas prices when we bridge the ETH from Ethereum to Polygon, but we'll only pay for that once. So you'll want to bridge as much as you can afford once, and then you'll only pay that gas fee once, and you'll have your ETH on the Polygon network for future purchases. Or instead of purchasing ETH, we can purchase Matic on the Polygon network and swap it out for WEATH. Either way, we need to get some WEATH on the Polygon chain because that is what OpenSea wants. So if you already have some ETH or you want to purchase some ETH, I'm going to walk you through that now. If you want to go the Matic route, skip to the next timestamp. At this current time, because of the high gas prices on Ethereum, you might be better off going the Matic route if you don't already have ETH that you want to use. So if you want to purchase ETH, go over to your favorite exchange like Coinbase, Binance, or Crypto.com and purchase some ETH. Or you can even purchase it through MetaMask or from OpenSea with a credit card. The choice is yours. We just need to get some ETH in our wallets somehow. If you already have some ETH at an exchange or you just purchased some, you're gonna need to transfer that from the exchange to your wallet. 
So just go to MetaMask and open up your wallet, click on the account number to copy it, and then use that to complete the transfer from your exchange. Unfortunately, this is gonna cost a little bit to transfer as well. Everything on Ethereum comes with a cost. And now that we have some ETH in our wallet, we need to bridge our ETH over to the Polygon network. And you can do that right from OpenSea. After you've connected your wallet to OpenSea, just click the wallet icon on OpenSea and you're gonna see your ETH on the Ethereum network. Click the three dots and bridge to Polygon. In the next window, enter how much ETH you'd like to bridge to Polygon. Now remember, bridge as much as you can afford so that you only pay these gas fees once. Every time you bridge, you're gonna pay these high Ethereum gas fees. Now click Convert Tokens and you'll be prompted by MetaMask to confirm the transaction. This is where you're gonna see the gas fees. After you confirm the transaction, it could take seven to 10 minutes to complete. After it completes, you're gonna see a purple ETH icon in your OpenSea wallet representing your bridged ETH on Polygon. Instead of purchasing ETH, if you wanna go the Matic route, you have a few options. You can purchase Matic and withdraw it directly to Polygon through several exchanges. You can use Binance.com, KuCoin.com, Ascendex.com, and there's probably a lot of others too. Uh, you just need to make sure that you buy the Matic on the Polygon network directly, not the Ethereum network. Now, after you've purchased some Matic, you'll need to transfer the Matic to your wallet. Just open up MetaMask and click on your account number to copy it and use that to complete the transfer from your exchange. And now we have Matic in our wallet and we need to swap that out for some wrapped ETH or WEATH. There are a few different places that you can do this. One of them is quickswap.exchange. And here you can swap out your Matic or ETH. Just connect MetaMask, make sure that you're on the Polygon network and select Matic to ETH, then confirm the transaction. You'll see here the super low gas fees on Polygon. Now make sure you don't transfer all of your Matic to ETH because Matic is used to pay for gas fees on the Polygon network and you don't want to run out. So just make sure that you leave a little bit. Even just one Matic will cover about 1,000 transactions, so you don't need much. All right, now that we have some WEATH or ETH on Polygon, you might go to MetaMask and freak out because you don't see it. Well, it's not gonna show up there automatically. We need to import that token to see it. Open up MetaMask and click Import Tokens, and then enter this wrapped ETH address. Now I'll have this in the description below for you to copy. And there's your wrapped ETH in your wallet on the Polygon network. You can also confirm that you're good to go by checking your wallet on OpenSea. If you see the purple ETH icon, then you're ready to purchase NFTs on OpenSea on the Polygon network. Now maybe you should go check out my CodeCats collection, which happens to be on the Polygon network on OpenSea. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.